These two keyboards change everything. It's simple yet has powerful features that might be the only keyboard you'll ever need. So EpoMaker just sent me two versions of their new Tide series and I'm excited. Let's check it out. When opening the box, my first thoughts were just wow. This packaging really makes this keyboard feel like a luxury item. Opening it up, it's nicely protected by foam and it's plastic wrapped to prevent any scratches or just getting thrown around in shipping. It just shows how much EpoMaker cares about the keyboards. Inside the box, you get the user manual, keyboard of course, a box with a switching keycap puller, a little allen wrench, and a white type A to C cable. The keyboard itself looks really simple. I got the blue and purple one, but on the website, there's also a pink and black one. So the reason why I have two is because EpoMaker released the Tide series in both 75% and 65% layouts to suit many needs. So if you're more of a 65% or 75 type of person, they've got you covered here. The 75% option just has additional function keys. Other than that, they are exactly the same, so it's just down to preference here. Now you might think this keyboard looks like every other keyboard and that it might be a little basic. Well, don't let it fool you here because the amount of quality features makes this keyboard amazing. For one, the Tide 65 and Tide 75 features a full 6063 aluminum case, which is high quality material and always seen on high end keyboards because of its enhanced durability. The blue one comes with a electrophoretic finish, and the black, purple, and pink one comes with an anodized finish. On the back, there's also an EpoMaker Mirror PVD back piece simply for aesthetics and I gotta say this is one of my favorite features. The logo is just so clean and it's a really great design. Inside the keyboard, it has an FR4 plate and many sound dampening materials here. And this is really nice because the plate has a high density fiber material that helps maintain a balanced and smooth typing experience. It has 5 layers of sound dampening materials like on PCB plate foam, IXPE switch foam, and PET pads. There's also a metal knob which is a nice addition. You can use it to lower, increase, or just mute your computer when using it. I find it really convenient to use when you need to quickly change the volume of a game or a video you're watching. On the top of the keyboard, there's also a Type-C USB port and a switch for the Bluetooth connections. You can also see a slot for the USB dongle. On the back, there are four rubber feet to help prevent slip and even though there are no stands to elevate the keyboard, there's already some elevation if you are worried about the keyboard being completely flat. It has three connection modes, Bluetooth 2.4 GHz wireless and USB-C wired. To use Bluetooth, simply turn it on using the switch and then press and hold FN plus Q, W, or E. Go to your device's Bluetooth settings and connect it. If you want to use it with the receiver, press and hold FN plus P for 3 to 5 seconds, then plug in the receiver. Really easy here. And plus, it also has a 4000 mAh battery capacity, so this will last you a long, long time. The keycaps are double shot side print OEM profile keycaps with shine through legends. And right off the bat, you can see that the characters are in front of the keycap. Here, it leaves the top of the keyboard cleaner. And if you're experienced with the keyboard and you know where all your keys are, then this change won't really affect you. I've seen keycap sets that do this even without the characters, but it's definitely different and aesthetic here. The keycaps themselves are super smooth and have a nice feeling when you touch them. The switches are EpoMaker's Lemon switches, which are linear 5-pin switches. These switches feel so satisfying to click, and the sound are just so nice. This keyboard also has hot swap switches, and being able to customize your keyboard to your liking is so much more convenient, especially if maybe a switch breaks or you just want to change things up. Let's do a typing test. The RGB is super clean and the side print keycaps make the RGB shine brighter all around. Let's check out all the RGB effects.
So both the Tide 65 and Tide 75 are both QMK and VIA compatible, and this allows you to customize key maps and macros to suit your needs. Overall, I love the build quality of this thing, and the case is super premium, especially with the Epo Maker logo on the back. Thank you Epo Maker for sending me these two keyboards. If you want more information, I'll put a link in the description below. Hope you guys did enjoy this video review. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my uploads. Have a wonderful gaming day, but I hope to see you on the next video.